Howdy y'all, DJTJ with Inkscape tutorial number 8, the Bezier Curve Tool, also known as the Pen Tool. Alright, so today we're going to go over the Pen Tool. It can be found in your toolbox right here. The quick command for that is B on your keyboard. I suggest you learn that one because it is very important. So what does the Pen Tool do? well it makes nodes and paths and in vector software that's really important because that's what vector software is basically doing it's making nodes and paths and manipulating them and that's how you create your works of art um, this is once you get m learn more about Inkscape you'll be using this tool more than any other um, to create artwork to trace out your sketches to um, create works of art from scratch this is the tool you're going to use and it takes some getting used to so what I always tell people is don't get frustrated you just keep working with it and then before long it's second nature alright so we've selected the tool the first thing we want to check is that up in the le top left hand corner that the create regular Bezier path is selected that's the first one and not any of the other ones these two will make smoother sort of paths and these two will make sort of geometric designs and they're useful but most of the time you want to keep it set to regular under shapes we want to keep it selected as none the triangle in triangle out and ellipse have their benefits and we will talk about them in later tutorials but for today you just want to make sure these are set to none alright so what are we going to do and how does this work? Well, I've made a little obstacle course for us and we're just basically going to trace it out. So you can do sort of the similar thing or you can import an image in and um, just click on it to sort of get the hang of this. So you see the crosshair or the little plus symbol? Wherever you put that and left click it will create a node. So we'll put it right here and I will left click. It has created a node. Now notice that the path is attached to my cursor still and it'll stay like this until you click again so we will come here and you can left click again however keep in mind that if you're making very straight lines at certain angles to hold the control key like I'm doing and that way it'll make a perfectly horizontal line instead of it being a little bit off so I can hold the control key and left click now the next path is still attached to my cursor and the way you go ahead and close that out is right clicking so what have we created we have basically created a line and that's what you're using this tool for is you create lines and use those lines to connect to make entire shapes so let's go right here and try one that's a little bit harder pressing B to go back to the pen tool so I'm going to hold the control key because I know this is pretty geometric. I'm going to left click there, left click there, left click, still holding the control key, left click, and finally come up to your path. Now if you see the node, when you go over it, it will highlight red and become a larger box. You can see it doing it now. That's letting you know that you're over the node and you're fixing to connect to it. So I'm going to go ahead and left click again and there you have it it made a shape now it went ahead and filled that shape in you can always turn that off by clicking the X button and that's what the whole tool does now you could say well I could do that with a square tool and of course you could that'd be easier just to use a square tool to draw a square out however when you get more complex shapes it's easier to use the pen tool so let's see how if we're going to trace something out that's actually curved how that's going to work once again select the pen tool by pressing B you're going to move your cursor over the spot you want to begin at I'm going to left click it will set the first node and then I move my pen tool to the second spot alright so now instead of just left clicking I'm going to left click and hold so left click and hold and now start dragging your mouse notice how it makes this blue handle along with your path 
And this handle is used to manipulate and show you the what angle is there. And you can use it later to manipulate this path if you need to make some changes. And we'll talk about in a later tutorial. But today, just know that that is there to sort of show you the guide. And it's a little hard at first to sort of get what's going on and to see how it actually wants to curve. But I promise you, after you do this for a little while, it will be second nature and you'll totally get it. So now all I have to do is just line the curve back up. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to release the left mouse button. Now it's still attached. So I'm going to go ahead and right click. Now it has created that path for me. Alright, so let's try this shape out. I'm going to press the B key. I'll start right here. I'm going to left click, move my mouse down, left click, hold move the mouse once I'm satisfied with my line release right click now I'm going to find that node right there I'm going to left click move my cursor here now I'm going to left click hold and begin to drag it out and I've accidentally released my left mouse cursor too quick so I'm not going to freak out you can just right click and, and go ahead and finish that path and all you need to do is press control Z which is undo okay so I've undid that and I just need to try it again the worst thing you can do is a lot of people I notice that you're they're used to word processors and if you mess up the first thing you want to do on a word processor is just ba hit backspace well backspace and Inkscape actually deletes the line so we don't want to do that we want to press control Z and control Z again now it's back now here's the problem if I go to draw this line once again it looks good I think everything's awesome but it's actually not I did not connect them the reason why is because I did not click on the node that is the number one rule of the pen tool always click on the node now you said I don't see the node it's not visible because you don't have this segment selected notice these aren't visible either but if I click on it and then I press the pen tool the nodes will appear the same for this if I select it with the selection tool then select my pen tool the nodes will appear and I can continue on so once again put your crosshairs right over that left click now go to the point you want to go to left click hold drag it out release right click now it'll let you know that it's continuing this path because the bounding box will get bigger left click there left click hold drag it out release right click one last time so I'm going to left click now I'm going to find the very first node right there left click hold drag it out release right click and now I've made a shape so that's the basics of the pen tool you're gonna to need to find something to practice on to get handy with it I suggest downloading something or taking a picture of something pretty simple that you can trace out but that's the basics of the pen tool please join us for our Inkscape tutorial number nine editing nodes thanks for watching